Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create value mapping and use that in our actually iFlow. Okay, so for that, what you need to do, you need to go to the uh, the where you have created the package, and this is the iFlow which I have created. And so what you need to do, click on Add It. Takes some time. Let me refresh it, looks like it's logged out. Okay, so it's working, looks like. So click on edit again. And that is where you start seeing these, uh, you know, icons. Click on add, and we have to select uh, value mapping. Okay, so in the last video, if you have seen, I added a field called discount. So that value will be derived from here. And if you see my my input payload, which is nothing but this one, I'll just show you. So it has a type. So what I'll do, I'll create a value mapping based on the type. I will define some discount. Okay, so let's go back to the iFlow again. Okay, so let's you can say discount value mapping. Okay, so everything is fine. No need to change anything. Let's say add. And double click on it again you have to say add it and say add okay so as you can see it's just like you know uh, uh, if you have multiple uh, you know value mapping so and if you have similar fields so it will be considered a duplicate so that is why namespace or agency is just like a namespace or a uh, package package name something like that. so I can just say for now source one and agency on the target side, I'll say T1. And uh, what I'm trying to say, I'll tell you. So, for example, type let's say you have multiple, uh, you know, iFlows created, in that you have a type field which is common. And when you are creating a value mapping uh, more than once, so if you are having type, it will get confused which one it to take it. So, that is where to make that difference, you can give a different name over here so that it will be unique. So nothing but so identifier will be combination of agency comma identifier. All right, so that's how I did it now. And right side I'll say discount. Okay, when I hit enter the below table, and that is where the value I need to fill it. So if the type is let's copy it from the below. The type is root. Add one more. So three we have three types back and third one is this one okay so let's say just for an example I am saying on grocery I'll give 30% discount on stationery I'll get 20% and fruits I'll give 10% discount okay so that's how I defined it let's save it okay so this is saved let's go back to our iFlow and click on you know this uh, message mapping and i hope i need to click edit over here as well this is the value or sorry message mapping and in the last video you have seen discount to be mapped actually directly to the cost which is not correct so let's delete that you don't need that so you have to click on the right side discount and click uh, uh, what I can delete from here also. Delete. We don't need the cost. Actually, we need to type the, oh, sorry, map with the type. So, I hope type will come here. Okay, so we have two fields over here, but the value actually should come from the value mapping, which we just now created on the, uh, just now over here. So, let's search for, okay, so one more thing in the functions, you have many. So, you can select uh, whatever operation you are looking for it. And just type some words, you should get a filter out of it. Okay, so right now I'm interested in value mapping, so I'll click on value and you see value mapping is there. I got it over here. Let's map that. So type is so input. Input is nothing but value mapping is nothing like a dictionary. So you pass the key, you get the value. So for example, in our input payload, we have so many items, right? Fruit, stationery, or grocery. So this is nothing but a key. Based on the key, we will define the discount. So go back here. So type, which is input, given to the value mapping, and then this output goes to discount so that is how mapping we did but now the catch is 
which there could be more than one uh, value mapping and you need to select right so that is where this uh, option advanced comes into the picture you say from where it will come so source sources are s1 if you see over here okay as in uh, identifier is the type here also you can give anything by the way but i since i uh, into this example that's why i kept the exact name you can give anything i mean type 2 type 3 whatever you want to call it and uh, uh, target identifier is this one and sorry sorry this yeah correct this should be t1 right agency okay use default values you can say zero if no value is matching you give zero discount that's how we filled it and if you go back to the postman so far when we executed we got uh, i mean just the cost is nothing but the discount because <laughs> his item is free but just for testing purpose we mapped it to uh, cost to the discount all right okay, let's say okay here and i think in the last video i showed you the simulation let's try that how it's gonna work so i'll try hit simulate and upload the same input xml and say test let's see how it's uh, whether it's going to use the right result or not while let's wait for it as you can see results are there so for some reason discount is zero that means things are not working the way it is supposed to work okay let's check here everything looks to be correct okay so looks like we forgot to deploy we just created a save as a version i mean that's it so let's deploy yes so it's triggered let's wait for it meanwhile we can go to this integration okay so it's successful again click on simulate and since the payload is already there let's click on test okay so you can see this time it created correct discount values so for fruit we are saying uh, 10 stationary 20 and grocery 30 let's check that 10 stationary type is correct 20 let's check bottom items so grocery is 30 fruit is 10 so that's how it is let's close this one say okay let's save this also as a version and i'll say deploy as you can see this is also deployed let's go back to the postman and these are old values as you can see let me hit up okay so discount is also property coming all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much